Hello, hello. Welcome to Solara Reads. I am here to give you messages based upon the, uh, the downloads that you probably are already receiving. So these are just here to confirm things. You already are probably knowing, but you need some extra confirmation or some details. So if the reading doesn't fit, please don't make, uh, please don't try to make it. And if anything induces fear, it's not for you because that's not how I work with my guides. Nothing I should say and you should ever bring up any kind of fear. That means it's not your reading, okay? So... I've pulled a few cards here and this is what has come out. So at the bottom of the deck, we have coven or secret society activity. So you may be in Aries. The person that is enacting this against you may be in Aries. Um, it's very fiery, impulsive energy. This person could be quite impulsive in the way that they um, behave. Um, Aries in the shadow aspect can be very um, egotistical, self-involved. Um, but if you're the Aries and you're the wounded party here, um, then what it's actually saying is use that impulsivity, um, well, not necessarily impulsivity, but use that uh, quick, quick energy, quick, quick fire starter energy to, uh, to deal with this. And it's also telling you to, to focus on yourself in this because there's something here about some kind of group activity beyond, you know, this coming out at the bottom. We have the 11th house and this has to do with groups, but we also have the 10th house, which is to do with a uh, career and your like achievements and your status. So whoever is enacting this against you, it could be in the workplace or they could be specifically attacking your work, your career, your achievements, the way you're seen in terms of uh, what you achieve in the world when it comes to your work. They could also be attacking like how you are perceived in certain groups, especially if it is a situation where they're attacking your work or your career. At the bottom of the deck, we did get the moon card. So I feel like whatever way they are attacking, it's like through your like creating emotional instability and that can work in a in a myriad of ways including your dreams including trying to make you doubt your own intuition um it can happen so many ways it, it's playing with your emotions also could be emotionally manipulative um what actually came out here are all their spells are actually reversing instantly so you have nothing to worry about. You're heavily protected. You might want to consider using um, the power of fire to continue to protect or connect with this Aries energy. You are being told to open your mouth and speak the whole truth regardless of presentation. There's something here about how this person has tried to intimidate you to keep you from speaking. Um, this card came out, two of the cards actually came out about using flattery or having a silver tongue. Um, this one flew out and the other one made itself known as I was shuffling. So there's something about the way this person either speaks to you or speaks to people around you in a way that like people think, oh, butter couldn't melt in their mouth kind of energy. And really it's there to manipulate and distort the truth and to keep people thinking there's something they're not. Um, it's especially to keep you doubting that what you're picking up intuitively is real. It's also for some of you a form of intimidation to keep your mouth shut, whether they're doing it nicely or otherwise, it could be either way. They could be using flattery on other people and like, um, you know, trying to intimidate you in other ways with their words, or they could just be using flattery with you to dupe you and make you think that what you're feeling isn't real um, and doing the same with other people. Either way, there is a very real energy of trying to intimidate you out of speaking your truth. And you're being told here to speak your truth. And there's also some kind of fear coming up here with regardless of presentation and the moon energy of almost being like you've reached the end of your tether with this. And so you're quite emotional and you don't know how to say it without it coming across a certain way. Don't worry. Sometimes people need to be scared of you. Sometimes people need for you to act in your emotions, not in a way that like hurts other people, but sometimes you need to like express your truth, not in violence, obviously, but you need to, it needs to be expressed in the raw. You have been consistently binded and sacrificed on the astral for material goods or opportunities. So with this card, like it comes out when it, it's a consistent thing. But what I was getting with this energy is it's not a consistent thing. This may have been a one-off thing. I don't feel whoever did this was especially adept. I feel like someone's trying to climb um, the ladder, whether it be in a coven, a secret society, or even in like a group within work kind of thing, like uh, get doors open for them. So that's your reading. That's what I have for you. I hope that
that this was helpful and insightful. If you'd like longer readings, I do post from time to time on my new YouTube channel. It's Solara with an H Speaks. If you'd like to partake of my services, please check out my website, Solara with an H dot info. I wish you the best.